everyone, it's Saturday once again and that means it's time for our 5 minutes with. Today we are featuring our kindergarten level coordinator, none other than teacher Miriam Carion. Hi, Teacher Michelle. Happy Saturday. Hi, everyone. Hello, Teacher Miriam. Thank you very much for allowing us to interview you today on a Saturday at that. Thank you so much for having me. As you know, Teacher Miriam, 5 Minutes With is our way of getting to know our teachers better here in ISYC and today is your day. Wow! I'm excited but a bit pressured but bring it on, teacher! <laughs> Maybe we can begin by you telling us what led you into teaching and is this something that is your first choice? Well, Teacher Michelle, I can't say that teaching is my first choice. But ever since I was small, I had loved to pretend to be a teacher. I would ask my mom to buy me a blackboard, color chalk, and eraser. And then I would teach my playmates and sisters and tell stories to them. It was good how they cooperated with me when I looked back at those times. But being able to see this childhood hobby transition full time, lifelong calling to me, is something I'm thankful to God ever. Um, I understand also, Teacher Miriam, I think from the past, uh, we've had some some discussions and you did mention that aside from being a teacher, you wanted to be a policewoman. <laughs> yes, teacher. That's one of my lesser known ambitions. When I was young, I wanted specifically to be a brigadier general and I asked my mom what it would take for me to join the Philippine Military Academy. But she didn't really encourage me on that ambition of mine. So, but I still held on to that aspiration to be at least a police woman, a city police woman, perhaps in Manila or here in my. It's funny, teacher, how being a police woman and a teacher have a lot of parallelisms. For one, you know, uh, both professions serve others right so i guess teaching is really your calling <laughs> yes that's true although i cannot say that teaching is less challenging than being in the police force because every day you, when you go into a classroom you basically don't know what to expect so you have to alert as a teacher you have to have this creative mind so that you can roll along roll with whatever the children's interests are and at the same time make sure that they're learning a lot of that. I agree teacher. Now you've been with ISYC for the past 10 years yes. and <laughs> yes and you've been a kindergarten level coordinator for the past two years now right? Yes. What are some can you tell us what challenges or successes you've experienced in the kindergarten level? Well, teacher, it's a very challenging and joyful ride to be a kindergarten level coordinator, especially during this. We have really gone through a lot for planning, for the planning and preparation of our ISY system to make sure that all systems are tested for online learning. And at the same time, making sure that we retain the excellence in physical education that we are known for all the But I'm so blessed to be part of faculty at ISYC to be under the wise leadership of yourself and of teacher Leia and to be a part of the very excellent kindergarten who is made up of such talented, creative, and resourceful teachers who truly love their students and are committed to bringing out the best in each and every. I know teacher that you are very passionate about everything you do so um, outside ISYC what are you passionate about? Well, outside school, my favorite things to do are cooking, helpful food, and learning how to be more organized. But, I think that everything I'm passionate about, including my family and teacher, revolves around my desire to follow the Lord Christ and to live out His word in I also know, teacher, for a fact that you're part of the kids' ministry at Victory. Can you tell yes. us more about it? Well, I'm a volunteer teacher at Kids in Victory. So there, I am able to teach 
children about success and the word of God. So it's an opportunity for me to my top passion, which is about the word of God and teaching and reaching out to the next but however I would have to say that such opportunity is limited now because of our friends we're still making an online platform to reach out to children even so it seems like you're a very busy person teacher <laughs> five days a week you're with ISYC and on weekends you you spend your time at Victory so when do you have your me time or what do you do during your me time? Teacher Michelle, the first thing that came to my mind is sleep. So no matter how busy the day gets, I always make sure I clock in seven or even nine hours of sleep a day because it's so important for me. I know how important it is to make you ready for whatever lies ahead. That's right, teacher. I think sleep is very important, not just for growing kids, but also for adults so that we are more focused in our work and we end also more more active during the day, yes. I think, especially when you I have agree. enough sleep, right? So, teacher Miriam, do you have any last words to our students who are watching you and would like to aspire to be more like you? Hi, kids. Thank you for watching today. So my advice to the children who are listening is that you always have to listen to your mom and daddy because they love you so much and they always want the best. So listen to your mommy and daddy, follow them, obey them, respect them. And another one is you have to always do your best, not just in your studies, but everything that And remember to stay healthy, right? Eating healthy food, with exercising, and sleeping on time when it's time for bed, as your mom and dad does. Follow them and pray to God so that God will lead to where He That's it, Teacher Michelle. Thank you, Teacher Miriam, for that. I think I just have one last question, Teacher Miriam. Okay. With 76 days left before Christmas. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's <always> <laughs> memorized it because I do it every day. <laughs> I think it's 76. So with 76 days left before Christmas, what do you think is the best way for us to prepare our hearts for the coming of Jesus? Well, thank you, Teacher Michelle. That's a very thought-provoking question. So it's something that I think is important for us to think about. And so to, sell it, to prepare ourselves for Christmas, I think we have to remember why we're celebrating it and to remember that it is because of the birthday of Jesus Christ that we look forward to December 20th every and not even just December 20th but we can actually give thanks to God every single day for the greatest that we can ever so with that we can always look forward to our celebrations on Christmas Eve. No matter what the situation is, whether we have a lot or even we have just a little, the fact that we already received is enough for us to celebrate. And of course, to celebrate with our family is another very important factor. It's something that we can also be thankful God that we have family who love us and who we could spend such a very season. So that's it. Thank you very much, Teacher Miriam, for those very inspiring words. We want to prepare the children for Christmas. That's why we have acts of kindness every day. And we hope that the children take this to heart so that their Christmas will be more meaningful. So once again, Teacher Miriam, thank you for joining us. We are very happy that you are here with us and that you continue to be with us in ISYC. Thank you so much, Teacher Michelle. Thank you for having me. Happy Saturday again. 
And that's it for our 5 minutes with Teacher Miriam Carrion. Next week, we'll have the IT team composed of Teacher Isai Briones, Teacher Meg Beleza, and Teacher Erlin. Until then, we'll see you again next week. Bye!